Hello and welcome to another video by myself, Chris, from Surreir on a Budget. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I've had a few requests um, from folk asking basically how I go about doing a lot of my own research, um, how I find the players and uh, such like. So I thought I would do a little video just going through a few steps that I take. Um, this can be translated to any budget for any league. And I mean, it's just basic, straightforward research. So I'll guide you through a few things. The uh, first thing I will do is I've obviously just gone through, I'm going to do this live. I've not got slides for this one. I'm literally just going to go through things. Um, so if any error crop up, we'll soon know about them. So first and foremost, um, the first resource that everybody probably knows about uh, is Surreir Data. Now, Surreir Data is um, just a phenomenal resource. Um, you could find literally everything within there. Um, however, I wouldn't put your entire, you know, all your eggs in one basket and just look at Surreir Data because there could be reasons for high prices, you know, prices spiking. It could also be a reason for why prices are maybe, you know, sliding. So you may have to do a little bit more digging on top of it. But what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to show you uh, a couple of slides, a couple of areas that I use. The first one is in the Scout section and Player Finder. Now, most of you will probably have seen this, some of you may not, some of you might be brand new. So if you are brand new to this, um, in here, you can actually search by position, search by league, whether there is a starter, substitute, or even a reserve. Um, you can filter by the league, you can filter by club. You can change the age range, you can change a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very basic search. Um, I'm going to look for, let's say, midfielders. Um, we'll go starters and substitute. Um, no particular reason, just, for, just so I could show. The league that I'll go, I'm going to unclick the all leagues and I'm just going to go with MLS just because um, they are a current league that's been running for a while now. Now, when you are using this, if you're using this for some of the brand new, you know, the leagues that are just standing back, like the Belgian league or the Dutch league when it comes back or the Russian league, um, this sort of thing, the data you're going to be looking at on here is historic. It is going to be the data from last season mostly. Um, some of it might include Euros, so that might skew some of the data a little bit as well. The reason I'm going to use it on the MLS just because to let you see this is real data from this current season. So and um, this can show you current forum and things like that. So underneath here we've got the past five games. I've also got the past 15 and you can also do it for a full season. I'm just going to focus on these two just now. Um, if you are looking at some of the historic data for the previous uh, season in, say, like the, the Belgian league, you may well want to look at the 40 games. And that way you can get a, an overall picture of where that player is at for the whole season rather than current forum. Because current forum from the last five games of last season, it, it doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, they could easily, you know, if it's a striker, they could go off the boil, that sort of thing. So, not to bore you for too much about this one. So, the top two... These are obviously your scoring ranges for, uh, you know, within Serie I'm just going to go purely with the SO5 range. So if I'm looking at the last five, um, you can obviously adjust that to be, you know, if you want it to be over 45 or if you want it to be, you know, a little bit lower. If you're trying to maybe pick up players on a lower budget, I'll just stick that up to 100 anyway. So here you can actually set how many games you want them to have played. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at somebody who has played all five games. And I'm going to look at them uh, for having started the last, or at least four of those games. Now, if you, I've found sometimes if you put it to 80 exactly, um, which would be four of the five games, sometimes it doesn't pick some of them up. So I always put it just a little percentage underneath it. So this is going to do a search for somebody who has an average rate in 45 or more, um, has played every game and has started at least four of them. Um, on the 15, I'm going to take that off just now. I'm just going to look at the 5. Down here, you can see that you can search by the scarcity. You can look for rare, super rare, unique. What I'm going to do, though, is I, I'm going to just take off average price. Again, no real reason. Um, I'm just wanting to look at what's actually on the market at certain prices. So I will change this down to 0 0.05. And we'll do a research. Sometimes it can take a bit of time, depending on how many leagues you've got selected that you're looking up. So right here, this will show you eight players. This has brought up eight players that have matched our criteria. 
So we've got uh, quite a few. One of the lads I picked up recently, and that was by doing a similar search to this. Um, it will show you a basic breakdown. It will show you the last five, the last 15, the last 40. The percentages are how many games they've actually played. So, um, for example, example, Diego uh, Chara of Portland played every game in the last five and um, has only played uh, sorry, 73% of the last 15, which is, I think, maybe 11. 11 or 12. Um, somebody like Dax McCarthy, he's played every game this season. Eduardo Lopez, all bar one. Underneath here, now these numbers that are underneath here, so the top one here, this is the best market price at the moment. Um, so you could find this lad on the market at 0 0.039. Um, and his, it's, his, his, his same best market on both. So again, usually it'll say the three day average if you hover over um, and the best market. So Dax McCarthy, the three day average sales, 0 0.037 and then 0 0.042. So you can see how this could be scalable. Um, I'll do another quick search, um, but what I'll do this time is I will increase the price. Um, and I'll even go and change the league to say something like um, some of the European leagues. Um, however, as I say, those aren't current data. In fact, I'll just go All Stars. Um, so it'll cover all the leagues there. Um, and we'll get a bigger range of players, which might stay in a little bit longer. So we've got 87 players in this one. It tends to sort it by the last 15 average. So you'll see that it descends from the 15s um, down. Now, what you may see is you may see a player and you think okay we'll take Ryan Sanusi as an example looking like you know played the last all of his last five games for uh beer shot and all of the last uh, sorry all bar one of the last 15. now obviously that's the historic data um current price 0.083 so you may want to take a look at him and you might think yeah okay i've got the funds for that i'll go ahead and buy him if you bought him just based on this what you wouldn't find is um, it doesn't actually show you that he's currently uh, injured, I believe, um, and is out for a, a few weeks. So the second thing that I will look at from here is showing you what I would then do is I would have a wee look at him on transfermarket.co.uk or whichever version of it that you're using. Say, you know, if, say if you're in uh, if you're doing it in German, I think it's .de. Um, but I'll have a look at Ryan Sanusi here. So. I'll do a search, we can click on Ryan Sanusi, we'll bring him up. Um, now, on here, some of the players it does actually show if they have a, uh, an injury. So here we can actually see at the top, you can see he's contracted to the end of 2022 season, uh, at the end, that's basically the end of the current season. Um, and if I go down, is it going to tell me that he's currently injured? Uh, nope, some random adverts that you usually get on here. Um, that's not coming up on there. So you again, you may think that, you know, though that's grand, we can maybe go and have a look at uh, picking him up. But again, I would still do a little bit more research on him. Simple things like you could then search for him on Google and look up recent news items. And when you look at the news items, you will see that these are then going to be in, uh, some of them are in Dutch and some of them are in uh french but let's look at this one this one's in translate so there we go several weeks of absence uh now some of the words won't <laughs> won't translate exact um be a short executive i think you know don't know if he's an executive but um he has a six weeks absence um as you can see there so his price could come down over the next few weeks um he's one of the better players at the club so you may find that he uh, is one that you want to maybe pick up in a couple of weeks time when he's shown his DNPs against them because that sometimes drives the price down on the player. Now, what you can also do um, is you can also then look at what positions he has played. Now, it shows you his main positions here. Um, if you're looking at somebody in the current season, though, um, just to show you a little bit, um, let's look at Dax McCarthy. Just because I, I, I know he's a regular and it'll show the positions that he's played and everything here. So, if you're looking at one from the current season, you'll actually get the data here. So you'll see that he has had 14 appearances this season, which means he has started every single game. Um, he's played 95% of the minutes, so he's only had a couple of substitutions out. Uh, a couple of yellow cards. Um, but here you'll see here, his main position is centre midfield. Um, other positions, he can play attacking midfield, he can also play uh, defensive midfield. 
Now, I believe if I go to detailed performance data, this will bring up um, the current season. If I pick it here, show the data, and you'll see it will actually detail where he has played in the different games. So you can actually see the other night he played as a centre back, which was not great for his score, but he still got um, his customary 50 points. Um, you'll also see if he's the captain and things like that there as well. But that shows you he plays defensive midfield, centre midfield for the most part, um, depending obviously on the formation that they're using. And over here it will show you what positions they've actually been playing, how many times and things like that there as well. So you can kind of get a bit more of an overview rather than just looking at, OK, he's a midfielder, because um, all that Serer will actually say that is that, you know, Dax McCarthy is a midfielder. Um, it won't break down any further than, uh, than basically just showing you that. It's the same when you look at defenders. You'll see, um, you know, some of the higher scoring defenders tend to be the ones who are... Uh, the ones who are the wing backs, um, they get forward, they get assists, um, they get much more involved in the play. Centre backs tend to score a little bit lower, but you will find a few that are, are a little bit higher. But the good thing about that is, I mean, like I say here, it just says mid. It doesn't say that he's a defensive mid, doesn't say he's attacking mid, doesn't say he's a left midfielder, right midfielder, any detail like that. So that's why you maybe want to do a little bit more digging, because you'll find, again, attacking midfielders will probably score more. Um, Defensive midfielders, probably slow and steady. And then you've got guys like Dax McCarthy. I mean, he's Mr. Reliable. <laughs> he's 50 points. Uh, 51 for the last 40 and the last 15 and last five. So um, you tend to find, you know, details like that if you do a little bit more digging. Um, the other thing that you can do in Google, if you are looking for details on a certain country, for example, um, if you were looking for, um, let's have a look here, uh, English to Spanish, you can then do a search. Now, if you were to just search for Liga MX, for example, if we were doing Mexico, if you were doing a search for Liga, uh, Liga MX transfer rumours, you find some details, but you won't find a lot. If you, however, search for something like Liga MX uh, transfer rumours and convert it into Spanish and then search for that, this will start to bring you up a lot more details. Um, as you'll see here, it's all going to be in Spanish, but when you click on the page, Google will be good enough to translate it for you, and you can find a, uh, you know, a lot more information that way. Um, if I just accept that. Um, so yeah, you can scroll through here, you can then click through, find a little bit more information, and then ask Google to translate it for you. Um, and that will you know, give you a bit more information about the players. As to be, I've tended to find some of the details. It even works for if you're trying to do it for Russian, if you're trying to find a bit of details for, say, Dynamo, uh, Dynamo Moscow or Spartak Moscow. You could do a search like that in Google, um, translate English to Russian, and then search the Russian phrase, and you'll tend to find a little bit more. Um, it does take a little bit of digging, but it can give you some rewards, um, you know, if you're finding a player a little bit cheaper. Um, the other thing you can do, uh, obviously, is if you're looking for a certain player, this is my own uh, my own Twitter page at the moment. But if I was to search for, say, uh, Clement Diop, um, I know he's obviously one that's been out injured uh, because he's one of my common goalkeepers. But you can just search for them and you can try and find out. Um, one of the top comments is me, um, but then VAR ruled out a goal. Perfect. But you can search by the latest, and that way you'll try and find out some information. Now, this is going to show you every mention of Clement Diop. Um, so a lot of them are, funnily enough, surreal related. Um, and here's another one. So here's one here. You've got something that's in uh, French. Um, Montreal being one of the French-speaking provinces. But again, you can just click on it and they will translate it as well. So, uh, I watch Pantanus go and oh boy, let's tell each other strongly, Claudio, the faster the better. Okay, so I think I'm 
taken the little literal translation of that perhaps a bit too far, but it looks as though this guy is obviously wanting uh, Clement Diop to be back quickly because Bantamis, I think he had a couple of howlers in uh, his recent game, so they are desperate to get Clement Diop back. So, um, but that way, sometimes you can go and find out a little bit more information as to, you know, if they're out injured or, um, uh, yeah, same here, he's still out. Uh, as a leg injury, it'll be out several weeks. So they are, that was on the 21st of July, so it looks like he's still out for a wee bit. Um, but that again could, you know, it does reflect his price has dropped. He was quite a bit higher than that previously. So when you are looking at injured players, sometimes they can be ones that you can pick up on cheap and then sell when they come back. The other thing you can do is if you're looking to find out a player's, um, you know, his positions or how many games he's actually played, because although we've searched for players that have started all uh, five games, um, you may want to have a look and see, right, okay, well, you know, where have they started? How have they started? So um, let me find, um, you know what, I'll just stick with Dax. Dax McCarthy. Bring him up. So, it brings up great things, so you can actually see his heat map, so you can tend to see where he is, you know, you can see he's not, he doesn't attack an awful lot, he is based, you know, in the, the midfield third, um, kind of an anchor man almost. So, you can see down here, you know, that he has uh, played each of these games, you can, you know, if he wasn't playing, it shows a bench, for example, um, if you wanted to see a bit more detail. But you can also go and look over here, so you can actually see this is his totals for the season and then per game. So he's played 14, he's played 86 minutes on average per game, hasn't scored any goals. Um, his shots per game, 0.6, you know, he doesn't get an awful lot of, of goal opportunities and he has missed a big one. Same with passing, it'll break down some details. So that way you can actually just get a little bit more in-depth. Um, this is all the hidden stuff that you don't see if you just use uh, Serer data. That's why I'm always kind of harping on that it is worth looking at various sources to try and find out a little bit more information than just, oh, Serer data says this, therefore, you know, that, that must be right. Or even if Transfer Market uh, says, you know, uh, one of the examples I've used was Kevin Ramirez, he was showing as uh, his contract expired on the tw on the 30th of June, and I was told I was wrong. It still says it's on the 30th of June, but lo and behold, he played the other night. So, and he's their captain now. So it's you know, it, don't believe everything you read at first sight. You know, the internet can be wrong. Um, and even doing all this research, you can you know, it's not infallible. You may well get you know uh, things that appear on the surface that everything's all hunky-dory and then you go ahead and accept the transfer and you find you know only moments later that oh actually that player just broke his leg or in the case of one of the uh the lads in the, the canada squads um i can't remember his name off the top of my head but he tore his acl on gold cup duty and somebody tried to offer me him for ipo bc I obviously declined because uh, I went and checked and, uh, you know, wasn't really interested in it anyway, but I went and checked and sure, you know, he's, he's suddenly out injured. So people try to palm him off. So this is a little bit of, uh, you know, a bit of an idea of what I, what I do. Um, it is very brief overview. I don't want to make this video, you know, get bogged down in minutia. If there's any questions you do have, feel free to contact me. Um, if you are, um, you know, if you're new to Serer or you haven't yet joined it, um, if this is helpful to you, um, by all means, um, you know, get in touch. Um, I'm going to put at the beginning of the video my uh, referral login and things like that. So if you are new to it and you do want to to see about getting getting started, you can use the referral code there and you'll get a free card when you have signed five from the new signings market. But rather than just signing five randoms, you can actually sign five that are worthwhile and you can find them through this. So I hope that's a little bit helpful. Um, if as I say, if there's any more details you want, please feel free to DM me uh, on Twitter. You'll find me at Serrero on a Budget. Um, and I'll be happy to give you a little bit more information. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for your time. And I look forward to speaking to you all again.